many traps numbers turn purple now? Traps. Just a second. Okay, now it's recording again. So, chapter five. Yes. Jewel placed a page atop the pile in front of her, blew an overgrown lock off her forehead and glanced around. Solitaire's inner space had considerably cleaned up since their departure from Rystar Station. She rose from the floor, stretched her shoulders and pinched some hand wipes from the field care box on her way to the back alcove. These stasis pods might not have been intentionally designed to double as privies, but their cleaning cycle disintegrated organics all the same. Jewel made sure to limit her business to the pod reserved for her catch though, just in case. Uh, I'm going to continue because that flowed beautifully and I didn't have any problems with it at all. Yeah, you read it pretty well. You, you read it the <laughs> way I had meant it. <laughs> so, carry on. <coughs> Excuse me. She returned to her improvised floor office and dragged the duffel bag over for a rations check. It felt odd, spending time travelling again. She was caught in the futile dread of her early missions, the sense of emptiness beyond the hull crashing, crushing her into a speck of insignificance, devoid of any impact or purpose. Jewel shook her head and squared her shoulders. This time was different. This time she had chosen to stay out here. She had work to do. Armed with a fresh pack of Bora jerky and a cob of caffeine corn, she attacked the next batch of papers, sliding them over her datapad for visual capture and feeding the contents into Solitaire's analytical nexus. Giving each page a skimming glance, she memorized the immediate, preserving most of her attention for the in-depth reflection later. She had to mind her resources, mental and consumable. With the current pace, she could afford one, at best two more work sessions before she'd burnt through half, of her, half the supplies. Determined, she bit down on a piece of jerky and locked eyes with the next page. That's incredible. <laughs> it, just, it just reads so... Like, it just flows and everything's easy to visualise and it works just so well. I would like to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> also, it would it would fucking better flow. It took me a week to <laughs> get the shit into this shape. <laughs> it shows. This is amazing. You should be very proud of yourself. Oh I am. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna continue? Yes. Ah, snooze capsule, Jewel grumbled out loud unfurling from her makeshift nap nest. She hated when Raptor was right. After resting on the floor, it took double her physical routine to get her body back into professional working order. She wiped her brow and glanced at the screens, noting that several cross-reference queries were still grinding on. Each time she'd awoken to find the network a notch slower, and now it had become noticeably sluggish. Jewel sighed and rerouted the task to the local data buffer. She cleaned up, fixed herself some hydro goop and sunk into the console seat. Solitaire's investigative tools had done enough of their job. Now she had to do hers. <laughs> uh, so, rerouted used to be reassigned, but I I was kind of sighed and reassigned too much of the mm. sort of echoing here. So if somebody else picks up on that, I... Um, I'm open to different words there. General impression? I'm grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> I'm I'm blown away by this. This is excellent. Okay. And now, if I scroll down to the green text, mm -hmm. uh, up until here, I would say that... Okay, let's, let's say up until here, this this would be the intro or the segue to what Jewel learns from the files. Anything that comes after this uh, is what I'm hoping to crack on. Mm hmm. So, uh, if you would read up until here, and then. Then all the uh, all the chaos breaks loose. The private contract shone into Jewel's face from from all displays. She'd settled the organised text view onto one side screen, with points of interest highlighted, 
and tinkered with a nodal view on the dis on the central display. Names, places, timestamps, all the details accumulating, linking up, clearing a window into the times before Jewel was born. Judging by the files, her brother was nothing like her. Quiet and courteous, not the kind to get into easy trouble. His main vice, the passion for biotech and aqu aqu sorry, aqu aquatic. aquatic ecology. <laughs> So, as you can say, this part is not yet complete. Like, I have uh, I have shoved some, some segues into place, but, uh, but if something better comes up, then I, I will be willing to smooth some things over and maybe mm -hmm. exchange some things. Anyway, now comes the part where... Uh, where I want to ch double check uh, what kind of information we want to make explicit, like which which points do we want to say out <coughs> loud that she learns from here? Because the thing is that I have I have worked with the material so much at this point, and I have been hopping back and forth in the text and in the different versions of the text that I no longer have the perspective what the reader knows and what they don't or like what, what we have presented to them and what we haven't and some things feel like oh this is just elementary everybody knows that but maybe it's because I'm so familiar with the shit and and actually for for a non-initiated reader some shit comes out of left field so this this is basically the uh, this is this is the point where where we want to put some exposition, and now the question is which points to put in here. So in chapter four, mm -hmm. you've you've already covered. Oh, hang on. Hello. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, sorry about that. In chapter four, the stuff that we've already co or that you've already highlighted is stuff like his name, uh, the connection to the family, and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look like any of the. Um, it just looks like descriptive stuff. It doesn't look like his passion for aquaponics and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important mm -hmm. uh, because she associates that with one of the reasons why he was taken in the mm -hmm. first place. Um, okay, so this will stay in, and this is what uh, gives her grounds to speculate on a prototype. And this means I also should put in some sort of mention about Maxis's business plan regarding the include. Business. So so yeah. Uh, even even if I don't uh, lay it out in detail, I think I have to include that uh, there were some sort of family business uh, expansion ideas or, or some sort of talks so that mm -hmm. so that Jewel has has uh, the grounds to to suspect that oh maybe it was uh, maybe it was uh, competition shit and i will cover this with blue marker because this will be my background or you know info stuff mhm mm right what else 
Um, I uh, was trying to not read the notes that you'd already written, <laughs> but I <laughs> seem to have lapsed over to them. So I would agree that Fortune has been held at the station all this time is a pretty important point. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to stop reading your notes and just think what uh, what would be important. Um, there's... Uh, that I, we should make a glancing mention to how he came up, uh, how he, like he was at his um, business age celebration. Mm -hmm. I think we should make mention to some of that because that's what sort of kicked off the whole chain of events. Of course, this is briefly in chapter four. Hmm. Okay. So let me see if I can find it. Uh, she learned that long before she was born, her parents, her parents had a boy named Fortune, and that during his business age celebration, he'd been arrested and transferred to an off-world containment facility before the family had any chance to interfere. Okay. Yeah. So, if I put this in chapter 5, then I wouldn't want to repeat it, but I, I would add some details or some questions there. So this, would, this could be uh, part of Joel's speculation. Okay. What if... Let me let me run this up your flagpole, see if you salute it. <laughs> what if the, it, we mention it in a glancing blow in in chapter four, and then elaborate further in chapter five? Yeah, that's that's what I meant. Because oh, what's, okay. What's what's in chapter four right now is a glancing blow. Mhm. Mm so that's that's what I meant. Uh, okay, cool. Leave leave chapter four as is, and uh, and add to it. In chapter five. All right, excellent. And uh, just adding details probably won't help, but uh, adding Joel's thoughts uh, is probably the way I would want to go here. I think that's important because it gives you uh, an insight into her mm -hmm. thinking a bit more. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've established some of those things, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm going to scroll down to the blue. So he's got passion for aquaponics. Uh, this starts her thinking. Brief mention of aquaponics, business age celebration, and then after that he was taken to a station. Yeah, so we elaborate on that a bit more. And now I think it's about how how she came to be in possession of this information. Like, why? I think originally in the in the original dirty text it was like, why now? Why why do we now know where Fortune is? Uh, the uh, the why from Jewel's perspective is in chapter three and four, but at the same time the whole backstory, how the info got to her now. She doesn't know that. Like, she has no grounds to speculate on that. Okay. So it's, so. it's, it's like uh, later on, uh, when she has Fortune, and when they, when Fortune asks why now, and she says, "Oh, I think they only just found out now." Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's when when she vocalizes it. But. Uh, But if I work it in here, it has to be like very. Ah, oh, I think I. Ah, oh, I might have an idea. Uh, so, so point one, she has the sort of. Uh, in TV tropes, they they call it fridge horror. It's when you, when you have, uh, when you have watched or or thought about something, and later on when you're doing something else, and it suddenly dawns on you like. 
oh my god <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is this is where she sort of puts it together that whoa he's been held in the same place from the beginning mm -hmm. so she might uh, raise the question how come they didn't try to rescue him earlier and then uh, she checks the timestamp on uh, or she notices the timestamp on on some memo or something and realizes that this info is recent okay i will no let me let me note it down boop, 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 boop. So the revelation that Fortune has been held in the prison station. So basically what the what the old version text says, just in a more elaborate manner. Like she doesn't know uh, so if the if the uh, first draft said that uh, after the arrest his tracks seem to vanish, then now we are appro we're approaching the question from the other end like if he was there how come nobody went after him mhm mm okay and uh, and if there is an arrest i also had an idea it should be obvious that these uh, accusations are made up mhm mm Like he might be he might be taken on grounds of some sort of substance use which they have license for or or some some sort of uh, some sort of obvious thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, uh, sort of like looking at a trumped up charge, extremely trumped up charge. So. Mm -hmm. He could be. It's his. It's his business age celebration. He might be a bit drunk. Might be causing a bit of havoc. So they might put him in like the drunk tank. But he's not coming out of the drunk tank. He's on his way to the station at this point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty much that, yes. But uh, even even the first uh, first charge itself should be like, how come anybody would like. Like it would be like if you if you spit on the on the sidewalk and you're immediately grabbed and taken to, <laughs> to Guantanamo, that sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> God, that's a scary prospect. <laughs> <laughs> What's that noise, computer? Okay. So now what we have is that uh, he had passion for passion for biotech and aquatic ecology, mm -hmm. and from that we get the aquaponics work. From that we get the uh, uh, prototype and business plan that uh, that Max is Max had high hopes for. Mm -hmm. uh, from that we get to the uh, get to the party where he was taken from, and there should be some sort of info piece intercepted info piece because. How would you get uh, stuff from another enforcement agency? Intercepted info piece. So the inter whatever inter intercepted info piece. Uh, uh, gives it gives away the uh, the fact that 
uh, that all the charges were were bullshit and and even if the charges were true the conduct relating uh, the, the 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 arrest itself was way excessive mm -hmm. and from there we get to the point that uh, fortune has been in the private prison station which is also uh, this is where I will slip in that this is also their current destination uh, so Solitaire's current destination the prison station where fortune has been held this is the place where he has been all this time mm -hmm. uh, raising the obvious question so if he was there all along then why not go after him earlier which uh, which uh, leads Joel to look for look for a reason or, or look for, for for any clues for why and she notices uh, the the timing again on some intercepted memo or something mm -hmm. uh, or maybe maybe a uh, a printout of a message or whatever uh, and and she notices that this is uh, rather recent. And yeah. it's like, holy shit, they only just found out. Mm-hmm. I like the way you've handled that. <laughs> I haven't handled it yet. <laughs> well, no, but the the approach to it was uh, very, very clear and concise, and you explained it well, so congratulations. <laughs> if only I was able to turn it into text so easily. <laughs> 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 okay, and uh, the point... Uh, possible point where she sort of uh, feels horror that she had never considered any of her captures as as victims I would have to put this somewhere here Station, aquaponics, business age, arrest, prison station. So it's more more or less chronological as well. Okay, and from that point on, there is some some room for uh, for extra info. Okay, so this is outside of Fortune now. This is more family. Yeah. Okay. So this might be the point to mention how she took money from his office and elaborate on that a little further. Mm, I don't know. It's sort of... Ex it's, it's not um, relative to the case, is it? Mm-hmm. So the, it, the taking taking the money was relevant uh, early on. Mm. Uh, I th and also I think uh, let me check. Have we brought it up? I think I have. At the beginning of chapter four. Okay, uh, ever cell in her body. Wanting to escape the world of Maxis and everything her family considered normal. Indeed, she had. Making her way to Vistar, determined to find the seeker station there and to join her ranks. Okay, so I have cut it out from chapter 4, but uh, in chapter 14, mm. uh, she, she admits it to, uh, to Fortune. So I might be able to work it out. Uh, work it in here, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent certain that it needs to be here. The focus of this should be more on Maxis's financials, yeah. not her own. Yeah. Yeah. So if there is, if I if I work it in, it will be only in relation to. So 
surprisingly detailed report on the family's financial blah, 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 history. She took some money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so two. And I thought that maybe, maybe I can drop in some foreshadowing here about Trista, namely that there is very little information on her, mm -hmm. or like it's. It is it is noticeably absent that every all information about her is either indirect or vague. Just just like when she was growing up. <laughs> Ob obtuse is obtuse the right word? Hmm? It's it uh, not obtuse. It's obscure. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I d uh, I don't want to say. I uh, well maybe delib deliberately hidden. Like, obfuscated. Yeah. And the point there would be like uh, she, she didn't, like she didn't even realize she had expected this info until she was disappointed that it wasn't there. Mm-hmm. So this this way we have sort of established early on that she's a thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. That she's she's not just missing, but but this this will be important later. Yeah. Okay, so uh, financial history. Uh, very little information on her mum. Um, the Just a second, I'm gonna move something here. There, I already had written it out loud. Okay, carry on. Okay, and then you talk about the rebound. Okay. Rebound. The uh, the rebound of Max's I, I, finances. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I don't want to dedicate too much mm -hmm. attention to this, but this would be more like oh, she also found out that uh, this was a thing. Yeah. And uh, uh, and could be like uh, surprised that that she had such a such a detailed overview of this. And so it could be that point one her father liked to keep precise record and point two could be that he's guilt tripping her about the money that she took. Oh okay. And she decides that that's not the case because she's she's been given very generous funds. Mm -hmm. But she feels but guilty nevertheless. <laughs> <laughs> win win. <laughs> Pack your bags. We're going on a guilt trip. <laughs> <laughs> Could it 
happy that uh, that this is the you know re reminding her where her <laughs> where her <laughs> funds came from. <laughs> so basically, I, I I think if if ins inspiration strikes, I might be able to work in some sort of fucked up uh, family dynamics here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. If I look at this from a very clinical approach, we've previously we've we've dealt with fortune. Mm -hmm. We've looked at fortune in this chapter. We've looked at Maxis mm -hmm. and Trista, and we've we've talked about the finances. Mm -hmm. Logically, in in my opinion, the next step would perhaps be if we have to, and I don't feel that we necessarily do, but the family house would be the next connected thing but i don't think that mm. requires much if any talking uh, about i don't think this needs any attention at all because later we will go to that location okay With so if uh, if it was the case of the first draft that uh, that they had moved then mm -hmm. uh, then it would be somewhat relevant but now mm, no <laughs> and so taking it from this extremely cynical view I cannot think of anything else mm. relevant it, something something else might come up but mm. right now I can I can only look at this like Max's Trista fortune finances there's not really a whole lot I feel Jewel needs to know beyond that yeah I, I think we have a good patch of ma batch of material now and also uh the sequence has emerged. The sequence mm -hmm. uh, of showing these different bits and pieces, which which is what I was really after, mm. because uh, I had I had the journey notes from before, but I didn't have a clear clear view view what to begin with and so on. Mm -hmm. So this has helped a lot. I think if we, I know we're not, but if we included any more information, there's a chance that we'd be, it might bore the reader, whereas mm -hmm. with the amount that we've specified now, it's mm -hmm. very concise, like we're, co we're covering very specific topics and they're relevant. Mm -hmm. They're extremely relevant. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Nicely done. Okay, and after this will be another uh, paragraph of mundane routines mm -hmm. where uh, where you will realize that oh we are we're in the we're at the point where I can enter transit and I don't want to be out and about while we're in transit so bye bye <laughs> yeah basically and uh, I know that there will be uh, right now there's like a page of notes about that but I will cram it down into one paragraph later on we discussed the other day about Jewel having the feeling of why does everybody else in the universe know more about my family than I do mm -hmm. w where were we putting that was that meant to be in this this chapter or is that mm -hmm. a, a later or earlier one uh, that was also in chapter 4 I think I think a whole lot of shit is in chapter 4 because chapter okay. 4 is very long let me see ah uh, no f chapter 3 I think oh ok so chapter 3 should be at the hygiene port Okay, so chapter three, she starts with the uh, on the seeker network. The stranger, the world of information she had no clue about and had not signed up for, perhaps for pushing her buttons. I think this is it. Okay. Like I think it might have originally said that everybody knew more about her family than she did, mm, or is. There might be a callback to this. Let me check something. Okay, so where are we right now? We're right now we're at I think there 
is a call back to this in chapter 15. Please Google. I would like to scroll. I would like to scroll more. Why do you <laughs> lose connection now? Let's go to the end. Do you actually know what happened to them? Hmm. Do you know for sure that the gate closed after you? Did you check? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to lazy brute and just doing a search. I know who you are. I know your family. <laughs> Okay, so uh, there is this point in chapter 15. Speaking of unus unusual access, I get that you know more about my affairs than I do, but how did you know to come here now? So, it is, it is not as pronounced as it, as it used to be, but I think it is enough. Mm-hmm. I think there might have been a, oh, uh, I think there might have been a point. Uh, oh yeah, there was a point in either chapter fifteen or sixteen where the exclaim Joel e ejaculated. Uh, <laughs> how come everybody knows uh, about my mother and I don't? And mm -hmm. uh, and I took it out. I, I remember. Okay. So so the sentiment that everybody else knows more about her family than she does is in there, but it's uh, it's not uh, spelled out as thoroughly. It's soft. It's a soft touch. <laughs> Smooth. Very gentle. <laughs> Liquid food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse right. me. So. Uh, now I have what I what I wanted to bug you for in chapter five, so I will I will uh, end this episode here. If we record any more today, then that will be another episode. Mm -hmm. Which means whoever's watching this, thank you very much. Thank you for bearing with us. Mm -hmm. Bye. See you soon.